okay so i think we are live now and hello guys welcome to the stream and today i will be building the brixton uh well, brixton a casper theme and um, if you haven't uh, heard of brixton or uh, casper so i just will i will give you a brief introduction gridsum is a static site generator for vue.js and on the other hand casper is a, a theme uh, you can say a theme built by ghost uh, uh, let me just show you both the websites okay so here is the casper theme and let me fix the this ch uh, this chat i think it's not working properly and uh, i just want to tell you that i have just made few changes to the stream and i'm just testing few th new things in the stream in the obs that i have just changed the, uh, the resolution so just let me know like um, what do you think maybe we can just uh, because it's a, it's a fun thing to test new things let me give a shout out on my discord channel And yeah, this is the the Casper theme which I'm building. So this Casper theme is built using um, well, this is the theme built by Ghost, which is built using Node.js and uh, and handlebars. So uh, well, the, the the theme which I'm trying to build is is you can say you can host it on any uh, place. Maybe you can even host on Netlify where you don't have to pay anything. So basically you get a free hosting space which is a plus point whereas on the for the node.js you have to you know uh, buy some hosting space to host the application itself so it's a win-win uh, okay let me um, give a shout out okay Let me check uh, just a second, guys. Hmm. Okay, let's see. <coughs> Uh, I think stream looks good. Uh, I just need to fix this chat uh, real quick. The, let me just fix that chat on the side which you can see. Mm. Okay, it is Twitch chat. And yeah, and also let me just show you the Gridsome website. I mean, uh, it is a static site generator for Vue.js, which is really awesome. Yeah, so this is all about uh, Gritsum. Why the music is not working? That's really sad. Uh, I'm just fixing the the chat overlay. Uh, let me uh, see why it is running so slow. not playing <coughs> let me just uh, close the application and run again <coughs> oh 
uh, yeah so uh, back to get some and uh, so this is the as i told you it's a static set generator where you can do all uh, awesome stuff like uh, you can uh, inject any kind of a data source uh, maybe a cms or database or anything or even you can you know pull data from an api also uh, like uh, over here you can see and then uh, using grid sum uh, like at the back end you can say behind the scene grid sum uh, uh, uses vue.js as i told you it uses webpack uh, and other cool features like hot reloading graphql and bunch of other stuff and again the best part is that you can uh, deploy this uh, website which great some build uh, on any platform uh, since net you can deploy uh, uh, you can deploy your free website i mean you can deploy for free uh, on like netlify because the netlify also have free pen and paid uh, paid pen also so you can deploy for free also and you can even deploy on github pages or gitlab pages or aws if you want to pay or uh, whatever <coughs> it's up to you but uh, today we will be building the the hmm, yeah we will be building the the, uh, the stat, uh, starter kit uh, okay why the music is not playing man that's really sad uh, okay so this is just a brief introduction like uh, about the project i am working on and uh, like previously i did work on most of the stuff like uh, creating the layout but uh, the i was not able to create a few ch things like uh, the author pages and tags pages because gridsum has not released the feature of testimonies i think it's this is what it's called let me check uh, no wait tags yeah it's called tax on money yeah i think yeah taxonomy uh, so uh, what uh, basically this feature does like uh, it creates all the <coughs> like uh, it just uh, load a source maybe you know if you want to create a bunch of pages for author tags or anything so it does basically that thing only um, so this is an example yeah and then we can inject the data um, basically a, a, a create a, a template where we can inject the data and then it just uh, by running a query a graphql query we can inject the data and again all the hard work will be done by the grid so only and you you get uh, beautifully rendered pages uh, where you can which you can just deploy okay finally music is back what come on not again why this has to happen every time i do a live stream got this uh, i need to change the not the text position we okay, need to change the bridge to 300 i suppose maybe 15 let's make it 20 and then 10 or maybe 0, 05 or maybe just this and that's fine let me just save the changes <coughs> okay i think it should now reflect the changes on the live stream okay great music is back and yeah let's work
you know, I think still the, the chat is not properly showing on the stream but yeah that's fine we can fix that later on now again what happened to the music Okay, let's start and let me just open the repository in the text editor and then we can start the work. Okay, where is the grid sum, grid sum, grid sum? Here it is, a grid sum starter Casper. Nice. Uh, and then I will kickstart the server. Uh, I need to also open the chat also so that I can, I can read your messages. Uh, oops, Twitch. Chat. Man, I'm really pissed off now. I think this music app is not working. What's happening to the machine? Like, uh, I did live stream many times before, and it never happened. This, like, it's very laggy now. Uh, OBS is using 40% of the CPU. Wow. Oh, come on, man. Why you are not playing the music? Wait a second, I can uh, play the same music on the website. <coughs> mm, how can I get the link? Has opened uh, now let me run the server and uh, I have to also try and try and read the documentation for the testimonies like I haven't tried using it so just bear with me guys because reading documentation can be a li little bit boring sometimes Okay, so I'm just closing this music app. Uh, I don't know why it is not working. So I'm just opening the same uh, music link uh, in the browser.
let's see if it works in the browser come on please work in the browser ok let me show you like what I am looking at ok so this is this music player uh, it's called pretzel um, it's it's a music uh, you can say a music collection specially built for live streams uh, so that you don't have to deal with copyright stuff because we can just filter out the oops we can filter out the type of music you want to play like here is um, instrumental only and uh, mature content and maybe also make a chat announcement uh, because i'm using their free plan so uh, it's important to make a chat announcement uh, and youtube safe mode um, because there are few copyrighted music uh, which uh, youtube doesn't allow to play in the video so we uh, so by that enabling uh, we uh, pretzel take care of that stuff also I think there is a problem in their music application only. Okay, our server is also starting. Okay, voila, the server is started. <coughs> and <coughs> okay. okay. Let's run the server. It's still uh, very lagging right now. I don't know why. I have even decreased the uh, the optimization also. I mean the rendering process of of uh, of OBS. Okay, so you can see uh, like I like I did try to create this whole thingy and it kind of looks similar to what it is in this theme but this is just a home page only and if we go to, excuse me if you go to the specific post uh, you can see there is a post page also uh, and it's totally uh, you can say not totally same because they are working on this uh, theme every day and adding new features so uh, I might not able to keep that pace, but I'm still trying to um, add major features which uh, you can see in the front end. And yeah, so you can see it's, uh, you can no, you cannot say it's exactly the same. Um, yeah, like over here you can see uh, below this uh, author meta. Uh, so this is the content which uh, is missing. I have to add this one also and uh, what else yeah i have to i have to also add this bar at the top you can see that uh, it shows the status like how much uh passage you have read or something yeah <laughs> and okay so uh, today i will try to work on these this section uh, on overall basis uh, yeah um and just let me show you like uh, give you a brief uh, overview like what uh, this starter kit contains so it contains all the pages uh, like okay let me just show you this is the about page uh, and i have to work on this one also <coughs> and there are these tags pages which i uh, told you that um, gridsum has just released a new feature of testimonies they have just released this feature yesterday only so um, like many people have tried that feature and people are loving it because it's awesome and yeah so i will implement this feature over here also in the starter kit and yeah like most of the content like, uh, like the feature which gridsum already provide like i did try to cover all of them and build uh, this starter kit based on those features 
and since now because of this new feature uh, we will do this stuff also so you can see like all the features like which um, which are included over here all each and every single feature I will try to add I have even uh, like uh, you can say enable notification for this repository that whenever they make um, any major changes uh, to this website or this uh, to this uh, team <laughs> I will get notified and so that I could also you know get notified and make sure that I'm just on the same page like whatever changes they are making so that I could implement those same changes uh, in this strategy also okay so that's um, all okay yeah, just a second I, just, I also want to show this one also like if I just click on click any of the author page like for example this one you will see uh, this blank page um, that's weird uh, I, because I haven't worked on this project for months like I don't know like what's happening right now I have to just take a quick look in the files just to make sure that what's happening let me also uh, wait a second I have to update the the package also since uh, we are using the latest and greatest uh, version of the package uh, and by the way guys if you have any you know a better music player I think uh, I don't know why pretzel is not working right now uh, but if you have any other better solution for the music player just let me know uh, we can try that one also I don't know why it's not working okay uh, let me just re uh, uh, run the yarn command so that it could fetch all the latest packages <coughs> what yarn head okay let me see yarn head uh, I, th I thought like, like running the yarn command it automatically fetch the latest uh, latest version of the of the package itself Okay, I think it's yarn upgrade. Yarn upgrade. Come on, it should work now. Okay, I think it is working. You know, it is just fetching all the latest packages. I don't know like uh, uh, I'm just opening this uh, this music player again so if this is a problem for the internet connection then I think there should be a problem with the live stream also but uh, I think the live stream is working fine and I, they, I don't see any changes in the bitrate it is uh, pretty much at constant rate so there is definitely some problem with this uh, music player only I gonna just I will just shut this uh, music player now. You know, it's not making any sense that it is just uh, interrupting the music and playing uh, after some interval. Mm, but um, doing the live stream without music, it sometimes can be more boring. 
and I also don't want to play the music from Spotify because then if I will if I export the live stream to YouTube they will just um, give me a copyright remark and I don't like that Come on, why it is taking so much time for updating? It is yarn. I was using yarn, so it should at least work faster because yarn is faster than npm. Okay, let me just uh, report those guys for this problem of the the music player. It is not working properly. So I'll just open Discord and tell them about the problem. In the meantime, it can also install all the packages. Uh, I also need to uh, need I also need to yeah I can do that later on after reading the documentation yeah uh, but yeah, I, I just want to say one thing that um, in this starter kit uh, since grid sum doesn't have any plugin for uh, generating RSS feed um, so that feature might not be available uh, like after even though the, this starter kit is not publicly available right now um, but once uh, I build all the basic features like uh, creating the pages for author and tags um, and then I will just release this uh, starter kit to public and then you can try it on but at that time also uh, if create some or any other contributor have built a plug plugin for RSS feed that would be really helpful so that I could just add that plugin uh, and yeah because RSS feed uh, you can say is a primary uh, part of the blogging website yeah <laughs> why it is taking so long okay in the meantime I can show you uh, my discord server where you can join and maybe we can chat and hang out okay opening the discord server <laughs> Mm. okay and where we can see uh, if the build is complete My computer is so again. <coughs> <coughs> it is so lagging right now.
frame per second is still at 48% that's nice why are you taking so long man In the meantime, uh, okay. Uh, let me try playing the music from Spotify. Let me see, like, uh, is the problem is on the machine or the uh, or the app itself? I will just pause this music. <laughs> and <clears throat> okay let me just select the uh, music okay i think this one looks nice uh, okay let me just try this one let's see if it works Yeah, this uh, is working perfectly without any issues. So I think the problem is in the app itself. Yes, uh, the music on the Spotify is working perfectly. It is taking ages to download the latest packages man. Oh, this is so boring now. Okay, I think uh, it is now just finishing up with all the packages. Oh, finally. Wait, what? Why didn't update it, the package? No, 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 that, that's not possible. That, that's that's not possible man that really sucks no I could just update the package uh, manually I wasn't expecting this from yarn I thought yarn understands me but he doesn't understand me uh, okay let me just check the version uh, so I'm pretty sure this is 0.5.0 uh, 
and this is 2.0 and this is 3 <coughs> I can still confirm that okay so grid sum is 0 0.5.0 and let me confirm these two well, we also need a uh, Google Analytics plugin yeah I can also download that and yeah this is uh, 0.2.2 and let me try this one and okay before that in the meantime i can and uh, run the command to install the uh, google analytics plugin okay er add and the name of the plugin so it will download in the meantime i can check the version of this one it's called source file system okay yeah so it's 0.3.2 yeah and by the way guys have you checked the new design of the npm like i mean uh, the design is not totally new they just updated the, i think the font of the header uh, over here i think they have updated the color of the logo and the button and the font of the button also i think yeah and they have also updated the yeah the footer and the home page also if we just go to their home page yeah this one it looks nice i mean yeah build awesome things wow yeah JavaScript Enterprise Great. Hmm. Well, I like the earlier uh, version, you know, where they were showing those. Uh, I thought, I, I think uh, they were pandas, right? Uh, brown panda. Uh, yeah, I those I like those uh, illustration. Uh, I think this uh, the landing page they have built right now it uh, it is more you know tailored uh, to the organization and enterprise stuff where they are trying to onboard new people for uh, the this enterprise and yeah yep that is what they are trying to do now Seven dollars per. Oops. Okay, yeah, let's get back to work. So we have updated the version and let's run the. It's still not installed. Come on, man! Like, what is happening now? Like, is the yarn getting slower or what? Status. I don't even know if there's any status for the yarn also. I have to check it. Like there has been no such situation where I have to check the yarn status. I don't know like what's happening right now.
uh, I, yeah, I think their system are all operational. Yeah. The package details and search for packages are also used in other websites, for example, books and books. So it is showing that uh, the system is operational, but the speed is still a uh, bit slow. Or it is possible that my system is slow because OBS is taking a lot of CPU. Yeah. Wow, what was that? Okay, I have uninstalled. So I was using this theme. That was weird. try to uh, I just I know love to keep my my this list to uh, list of all the installed extension to be just clean and simple I don't know to you know fill the list with all the packages which I don't use okay so I think we have finally updated updated all the packages and now run the bridge some develop command Uh, I uh, I think I have created a okay I haven't yeah, that's fine Okay, it is just now compiling the web, uh, the grid sum packages, and in the meantime, let me just drop a bug report to the Petzl team about the music player that it is not working properly. Okay, 43%, 47, 50, 
Okay, so it has compiled and let me just quickly do a bug report to them. Okay, uh, I did a bug report to them and now let's get back to work and run the local host port 8080. It should work without error. And till now we haven't got any error. That's nice. Now why it is not loading the images? That's weird. Okay, we can just test it like why it is not showing the images.
okay uh, it is showing undefined that's strange why it is showing undefined uh, I think it is possible that uh, the grid sum has changed their that the way they you know they output the the graphical schema I have to test it out so I will go to uh, local host port 8080 and explore where uh, so it is a graphical interface where we can explore the uh, explore the uh, the graphical schema and try it uh, try different ways to test and see if this uh, schema works or not So let me check where I'm querying all the images. So that must be the the home page only. And okay, here it is. Uh, I'm passing all the block data using binding the data to the to component. And that makes sense. Mm. And where is the query? Okay, it must be over here. Uh, so I can just copy this. Uh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Mm. Wait a second. Wait a second. So let me just run this query. Let's see what we get. Okay, description not. Found. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay, so we get image. Okay, so we get. Uh, you see, now we can get the image URL directly. Earlier, we have to you know go to the fields and then go to the image. So they have changed it. Okay, that's fine. No biggie. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so I had a just quick chat with the, the the pretzel team, and they said that they have recently changed their their CDN to some other provider. Uh, that's why there's a latency in the in the music.
ओके Okay, let's see. Uh, so we have fixed the uh, the image a path, and now I think it should work. Second, let me see. Let me just oh, wait, 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 it will not work. Uh, since we are Uh, so now uh, let me just check the browser it should Refresh the page. Let's see if it works. Uh, 
uh, okay that's weird now <laughs> none of the content is showing Let's see why it's not working. Uh, so we are importing the card component. Let me just see the card component itself. I can check the uh, error in the console. Okay, it's saying. Uh, cannot read property image yeah, that makes sense uh, since we did uh, change the format of the image the way we get it so it should be probably yeah over here now we don't need uh, fields or source we can just get access to the image directly and also over yeah, I think this should work. So maybe we can trim the path later on. No, that's, let's see if it works. Because uh, when we are using uh, background images, in that time we have to uh, trim the path so that there is no extra white space in the string. Then it works. There is so much latency in the music stream in this music app. Okay, that's where it's still not working. Uh, why it's not working over here? It does say this thing. So if I just use, uh, I'm just using card data. Uh, okay, over here, uh, I'm using an if statement because if there's an image, yeah, didn't see that coming. And now I can. Yeah, I think that's all the data I need to pass over here. And there are just a bunch of uh, computer properties and methods I can uh, fix that later on. We yeah, need to work on this one also. Yeah, I did try it. Uh, this uh, like I tried to deploy this application on Netlify, and that time in the deployment process, it was showing this error, which was very weird that it should not supposed to uh, output this error. I also need to work on this part also, but now primary focus is to work on. Uh, work on these two uh, where it is uh, okay <clears throat> yeah I will just work on this part now so over here uh, I'll just create first for these two where it will show that the previous one and the next one and then let's see what we get out uh, I do want to listen to the music but this is not working and if I use Spotify then uh, YouTube might uh, throw a copyright error what should I do now uh, I do want to I also don't even know like uh, if all the music on Spotify is copyrighted uh, live stream 
music now these are just a playlist only Let's see if it works. Okay. Uh, where is another tab? Okay, so it is showing the images back again. That's nice. Now let me open the the previous and the next. Wait a second. Uh, where is the post? Uh, so that was a layout, yeah. And it is default. Yeah, it is a template. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you see these uh, these anchors. It's very helpful. That like I'm opening this repository after uh, maybe three four months, and now I can just read this comment and understand that this is the error or this is the note I need to understand. It's really helpful. Okay, so this is the comment section. So you can see like it's really really helpful. Okay, now this is the next and the previous uh, next and previous component. And over here I will add the the related. You can say I will just add another uh, anchor over here. Okay, and I can add a to do related post. Yeah, something like this. So it's a good way to you know add. Comments and uh, tools stuff. Wait a second. Okay. So over here we need to pass the data uh, depending upon the the post ID. So we can run another query quickly and get the. Okay. So I will just use this dummy. No, no, not this one. Is okay. So I will try to get an. Uh, Okay, so we just use this ID so that we can get a post from previous one and the next one also. And I will run another query on a new tab, and it will say blog post, and it needs an ID, uh, and ID is a string, and then we get the title. Let's see if we get the title. Yeah, great, we get the title itself. Now we should see some other options also. Mm, nope, we don't see the options. How we can get those options? Let me see. What these are, these options are not also over here, which is weird. Like I think there was an option that it uh, shows the next and the previous post. So we can just jump back to the documentation and see. Uh, I don't want to know 
Now wait a second. Since I'm using Spotify, I don't want to play the music in the stream. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Because I'm afraid if uh, YouTube uh, add any copyright strike, uh, then I have to just delete all the that uh, copyright audio. And inside that audio, it might also remove the the voice I which I'm actually speaking. So I don't want that to happen. So just um, mute the. So the music only okay let's see um, this is a fetching data querying data okay now i think i have to ask the the community team only like if there was an option Uh, because every post has a random id uh, like over here uh, so like even if i build a relation where uh, uh, that it uh, depending on the current uh, post it can get the previous and the next id i mean the ne previous and the next post but there is no such option we also need this option to add comments even though i will just add the option to allow the users to add uh, that discuss i mean it is pronounced discuss right yeah i mean this this uh, application called discuss so i'll just use this one okay let me just ask the the great some community like how we can get the previous and the next uh, post because uh, if I, I remember correctly that there was this option earlier where we can get the the previous and the next uh, ID of the blog itself I think they have removed that option hmm. let me see like what are the options are available over here let me see okay we get the query so we get blog post all page metadata okay so we get schema in this way that's nice uh, that's really nice i wasn't doing that let me ask them also Thank <laughs> you. 
they have option called fit quality blur image okay so these are the parameters we can pass okay field get field or node state this is, this is depreciated yeah that makes sense id path is also depreciated So here's got uh, here's the metadata and all pages. Uh, well, I think there is one way to get the the previous and the next blog data, uh, but it's not. You can say not really a good way. You can say it's kind of hack only. But again, in uh, the in the coding world, uh, nothing is uh, you can say a hack. It is just a way we can achieve a stuff. Yeah, so we can try that. <laughs> okay, so I did try that. Okay, yeah, this is the okay. So this is the code uh, from the handlebars, uh, which I just tried to copy it over here just to get a reference. Okay, so uh, I'll just give you this brief int um, introduction, like what's over going over here. So this code, uh, all of this which I have selected, is the code uh, for this part uh, about this part over here and for the other two cards this is the part so you can see for those uh, for the next and the previous uh, card only these this is the code over here <laughs> which is really short uh oh, but uh, so the way i was thinking i can just explain it like what are the way i was thinking so it is in a sense that we can first uh, retrieve the list of all the blog posts and then uh, and then we will see like on which blog post we are and then uh, based upon the since we will get the all the list of a uh, blog posts in kind of an array uh, like inside array there will be a json object uh, for each blog post where uh, the data will be injected so we can just get the index id uh, for the blog post on which we are and then we can get the previous one based on the index value and also get the next one also but the downside of that uh, that method is that uh, since we'll be uh, fetching the data every time maybe if there are maybe thousands of blog so in that case i don't think it's a good way so i'm expecting that if they could uh, help me out with this answer if possible okay so uh, they have also added this new feature like i wasn't knowing that that if we hover on the this edited uh, text we get a tooltip with the with the date when we have edited the text itself that's nice No chill. Hmm. Uh, okay, so you know what? Let's try the method which I was trying to say. Let's see if it works or not. Okay, so I am importing the the car component. Uh, we, we have to just pass the data whatever the data we need uh, we have to get the 
Mm. Okay, let's see. Let me first of all pass the the current uh, post ID based on which we will filter the. Oh, just a second, let's. Okay, it was feel really like there was something to itching. Okay, let's see. We get the blog post. Uh, so we were passing all the data inside the this template. Mm -hmm. And okay, wait a second. Over here, I can just get the post ID if possible. Okay, yeah, we get the post ID, and I have to just pass this post ID uh, to the previous and next component. Uh, I can pass this way, and over here I have to pass page dot blog post dot ID. Come on, it should work. Come on, come on. Yes, I am binding that thing. Yeah, okay, it worked. Uh, what the hell now? Why it's not working? I am binding it. So that's why I put this semicolon. I don't know like what's I think here yeah, this VS code is getting some kind of fits. Okay, now I have to just add the props over here. So I have to use that value uh, ID uh, inside the uh, just a second. If we just use this, then Just a second, and uh, uh, attaching the microphone over here with my t shirt. Yeah, I hope it is now clearly audible. Uh, okay, now I need to add a prop over here. Uh, which is a uh, ID and uh, it is a string so I think this is fine for now and I have to just pass the Okay, now I will just pass the this ID. Uh, so let me just try uh, showing the uh, ID in the on the display. Let's see if it works. So it should work like this, right? Uh, we can remove all these spaghetti codes. We can get this reference later on. I mean, it's just. Uh, Okay, let's see. Come on, you it should work. Uh, wow, it is showing invalid date. That's that's really strange. Uh, and is also no, wait 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 uh, 
uh, it is not showing the ID which is okay it is showing I think it is showing hmm. invalid prop uh, author expected string uh, with the value this got array Uh, okay single yeah okay I was working on that part also yeah to okay make sense avoid mutation a prop directly since the value is you to whatever yeah okay that's fine but where is the ID I am passing the ID so where it is it is not showing the ID like I am on the blog post over here so and this is the ID over here which uh, is passing over here nope where it okay over here let me try console logging this Uh, but uh, even though if, if there was a problem with this uh, this this string uh, it should uh, output some error also but it didn't output the error which is really strange should uh, console log now at least it is not working uh, component by single line ok let me just uh, fix this one just to avoid clashing the uh, clashing the header single line hmm. where I am console logging okay okay understand yeah uh, yeah 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 now I see and I have console logging the error on oh, this author data over here which I don't need right now uh, I mean I do need that uh, I will just comment this out over here I do need uh, as a string no but I also don't need as a string this is uh, because of this new feature uh, grid sum provide mm. yeah based on that I can get the data yeah so I also don't have to use this props anymore I can just run a query, uh, a GraphQL query, and then boom, it works. Uh, so I can in the blog post where we are using this thing, and okay, so we are using it over here. And we are writing if um, if there are more than one author, then go for multiple, or else go for a single. So we can just comment this out. Yeah. Invalid prop. What? It is not console logging the query. 
which is really strange the id it is not showing in the console it is still showing in valid date that's very strange okay we are not using it in the query makes sense yeah my mistake and uh, wait a second now uh, let me just run the query key to see if they have changed the uh, image also yeah they have also updated the image so we can just use uh, image directly uh, instead of fields uh, it should work and I have to also update over here and I don't need this fields word anymore Okay, that's nice. And what about this date also? It's not. Uh, let me check the date. Like, who did they change the format also? Hmm. So over here, I. I think the problem is in the, in the query itself yeah okay uh, I think the problem is in the formatting the date the way we format the date yeah you see that's a problem now we are not formatting it correctly Let me check the schema if possible. Okay, so it accepts a string, but what kind of string? Uh, no, they are not just showing it anywhere. Like how to format the date? Nope, it's not working. So I think I can just remove the this format thingy right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Instead of that, I will just cut it and add a comment fix the date format so it, I think it will fix me yup okay let's see now what else uh, so we have also added the the id in the graphql query so we can then uh, id itself that's nice and now based upon this id we can filter out the well, let me also see like in what way we get the data Okay, we get it as an array. That's nice. Mm.
uh, now we need to get the so once we have mounted the DOM, I mean, once we have uh, initialized the view instance uh, to the DOM itself, at that time uh, we will run the query for uh, for reading all the data from the the page query I think uh, wait a second right we have to use a static static query yeah I think so we have to use static query Okay, in the source uh, and then it is inside the oh, where it was okay pages and then index Okay, so over here it is a page query and in the templates uh, I think like so uh, the bitrate fault suddenly that's not good Okay. Uh, in the static, no, no, it's not static. Okay, it was in the templates folder now. Over here. This is also page query. So where we have to use static query? Okay, so static query in components makes sense, yeah. Uh, so if yeah we can try this one where we can filter out the data no or maybe not because I think that is not possible. Uh, we because we only have the post ID. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not possible right now. 
it is not possible no 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 it is not possible so i was just using a uh, page query in components that's weird oh, wait 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 uh, okay was not using over here oh, neither over here yeah okay that's fine now uh, yeah 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 that's fine now i have to just run the, the static query over here to get the data yeah okay let's try static okay this here's the static query and then we have to use this the same code over here Where we are just querying all the all the blog post. Now, do we need tags? Uh, I don't know. Let me check. Oh yeah, we need tags. Uh, okay, let's paste this over here, and then we have access to the to the static query i think so let's see if it works So we do have access to the blogs now once it is mounted uh, we will run the this and I will first of all try to console log the, the data we should be able to console log this thing uh, if it works uh, i think it should be query instead i mean static instead of page let's see if it works and it should also console log the id which we tried to console log earlier okay static is not defined uh, that's weird
hit static is not defined again what is wrong with this we get the static variable which is an integer I think I have used static query somewhere uh, in, my, in one of my projects. Let's see over here we got components and uh, it should be inside blog because over here we are running a graphql query and here it is yeah it is static uh, okay with all blogs We don't have to use this thing over here uh, or this. And besides that, it should work perfectly. Yeah. Let's see if it works. static is not defined again why it is not defined The query is almost same. I mean, there is no much difference. Okay, let's try now. and it is still not working which is weird i think console log doesn't work on the query on the graphql query especially so we have to print out the data itself Yeah, that is only the possible option right now. Oh, just a second. okay i am back and over here uh, we will run node uh, in and then this static 
all blog post edges and then the key property with the id of all the blogs uh, it should work now if there is no mistake uh, over here node dot title and we can remove this mounted from here and let's see now it works nice it works we get all the titles over here uh, just a second let's you know tidy tidy that up it's not really a good way to print that print, uh, print the blog like this okay let's refresh and it should print the blogs in a new line and uh, that's weird it is not working how about now that's strange this break line is not working um, but now uh, since we got all the blog posts now we need to filter out the blog post based upon the the current ID of the blog so so we get all the blog post uh, as an array in the in the edges uh, over, here, over here and then we run that as an array and get all this stuff hmm. So we can run a method for that where it can return uh, only two items and then we can save those. Okay, we have create, uh, created an array and now we will create a method property and get previous and next and over here um, we will we have to we don't have to pass it but we don't have any other choice hmm. and then we then then we can run this uh, this method get a previous and previous next over here that it will uh, initialize this this function uh, whenever the 
the DOM is mounted on the display okay and over here we will run a for loop uh, with the index 0 Uh, okay, let's make the index as i and the array as Okay, we need to store that over here uh, All blocks Like this and then like this and then we can console on the so it should console log every uh, every item in the array based on its index value and then we should initialize this method when it is mounted uh, we can stop this for now and let's see if it works ok we get an error next previous is not defined okay this will be this dot yeah. now static is not defined this dot static okay so we get this uh, node over here you can see uh, yeah, so it's working perfectly Now we need to match uh, the Okay, so I will save the current ID as ID uh, So this is the uh, ID over here uh, so I'm saving it in the current ID so it should be current post ID and then uh, in this for loop so I'm accessing the node okay nice So uh, now we run the if statement over here. Uh, if all blocks dot node dot id is not equals to the current uh, this dot current id. I mean the id of this current blog post. And then we can. Uh, console log rest of the values it means if uh, okay let's see in which blog post we are we are in the welcome to grid sum and let me see the id of this blog post so it is uh, dcd24 okay so this is the first blog post itself 
and it is still showing over here wait a second I think I'm doing something wrong Uh, if the ID is equals to this then okay so if it's not equal to this then run this so this should happen for for every blog post so why it's not working get an error id is not okay id is not defined okay now it works yeah perfect uh, now we need uh, the previous one and the next one based upon the current post Okay, so I need the index value. Yeah. So if it is equal to this thing, then I need the index value. Uh, so that's obvious that the index value is zero itself. Yeah. And so since I know the index value, uh, I can now save the if so I need to return this uh, oh wait so I can run this inside the for loop only uh, if I uh, is equals to Okay, over here if we can run this statement. Uh, if i is equals to zero, then I don't have to do anything. I mean, we can just skip that part. If i is not equals to zero, then um, I need to get the Uh, so it will be this dot previous dot push and then the uh, all blogs then the index value plus one dot node Uh, so th this means that so if we get the uh, I'm still trying to understand the code I have written okay I can console log this also again uh, 
this dot so we're not able to understand this part over here with the code I have written so if the index value is not zero but first of all we are just uh, filtering out if the uh, index value I mean not yeah, if the current post ID is equals to the the post ID from the array and then we console out that value yeah, is zero. Uh, so the current on the the post on which we are so that, that uh, is index value zero so that's obvious now this code will not run yes but we also yeah 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 and I understand so if it is equals to zero we only need to get the next one okay so what we can do we can also write or if i is greater than zero yeah Uh, also okay let's see if how it works I'm definitely sure it will have to put some error okay I think it didn't met the the, this condition only <laughs> that's weird so it is equals to zero so why it is not running Okay, so we can just do if the i is greater than or equals to zero. Then this should work. Okay, we get. Uh, okay, that's nice. So we get the. Uh, the title a writing post with text editor let me see okay great so we get the the next uh, post writing post with text editor so what if I just uh, let me just move to some other post let me see okay I will now uh, open this post and we got the ID 3C97 and now the index value is 1 and the title should be oh wait 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 writing posts publishing option uh, so over here there is something say something wrong over here now it skipped the second one and get the third one uh, which is weird and I don't know why that happened So if uh, zero, I mean if uh, i is equals to zero, uh, 
uh, okay wait mm, we don't need this we will just store the value uh, without any condition first of all so we need to only set the condition if the index value is i mean uh, at the beginning we don't want if the index value is zero we don't want uh, to get the previous because there is no minus one that's obvious and also if uh, it is on the the last blog post then we don't want to get the uh, the next blog post yeah so let's try this way and i just remove the statement what the hell why is running this one <laughs> you see How many blog posts are there? There are only four only. So why it's running so much, so many times? That was really weird to see that. Okay, let me just refresh the page, otherwise my browser will crash. <laughs> it jumped to 4000, oh my god. Why it is not refreshing? I have to close this window only. Now I have to open the tab again. It, it rained 13,000 times. That's insane. I have to really close this window now. Oh, it's not getting closed. That was insane. Uh, okay. So if the index value
Uh, so uh, wait, wait, wait. Instead of that, uh, what I will do? So over here it says uh, if this is equals to this, and only then run the statement, and then. Uh, I will get the okay the index value over here and it is one and now if I just console log the value of the next and the previous blog post let's see what we get. Yeah, so it will only run this uh, condition if it is equals to the current uh, ID. Okay, so we are in the in the editor post. So editor post okay here's the editor post and then we are getting uh, no, no, something is still wrong for the first part it's correct that we are on the, the editor and we are getting the previous one but over here it's something shown different I don't know why Okay, so if I just do uh, this thing, let's see. So if you, if it is skipping twice for the plus one, Is what's happening? It is taking a lot of time to compile. Checking for updates on the server. I think it is still compiling the code that's why it is not reloading no it is compiled okay it shows up okay so now it is showing the the existing post only
uh, it is showing the managing admin settings first and then showing publishing options which is again very weird okay okay okay, okay i understand wait 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 uh, over here i am i think uh, like doing this uh, order thingy So how I am um, doing the query? Okay, 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 okay. I understand now. Hmm. So over here, it should be descending, and now it should be correct. Come on. Wait. So if you uh, sort them uh, in the sending order, okay, we get the publishing option and then the managing. Yes, yeah, so it's, uh, it's the same way. And if we go back to this uh, and. it should console all those values publishing options yeah okay it's correct and if i add plus one over here perfect it, it worked nice 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 now if i just uh, visit some other blog maybe this one okay makes sense so oh, wait what what's in can i read copy note Uh, okay, it is possible that because there is no index value less than zero Yeah So what I will do uh, I'll just create another if statement uh, Now I am getting like what I'm trying to do. So if uh, I is uh, Greater than or equals to zero or No, 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 wait, wait, wait. If uh, I is equals so if it is uh, equals to zero then we don't want to run the previous statement i mean we don't want to console out the previous because it's already zero so if it is greater than zero then uh, this should run uh, and uh, all blocks 
डॉट लेंथ इज लेस देन आई yes uh, uh, i hope it works let's reload the page and see Okay, so we get the index value zero, uh, and what? Why we are not getting? Wait a second. If it is greater than zero, then we need to um, get the previous. And if then we need this. Uh, even though it does mean the same thing but I have uh, I don't know like why it was not running if it is still not running that's weird Okay, so we get the value few, uh, value four, and if four is less than i, so uh, like based upon the condition I have set and what I'm trying to think, it should work, but it's not working. Okay, let's see how we get uh, length to 4. And since the uh, Okay, let's try now. Uh, okay, we get the the writing post with text. Let me check that. We are on the welcome message. I mean the welcome post. So we got this. Yeah, that's correct. Now if I move to 
hmm. maybe okay I'll open publishing options okay now I get the writing post again that's nice and over here I get the the managing admin and this is managing admin yeah correct correct perfect perfect so this is what I need Uh, now I can just push those two things. Uh, this was this dot um, previous dot push, and then this. I can remove all these console of values. okay so and then I'll just after uh, initializing this function I will console of the the array itself just to make sure that it saves for the value based upon the post on which we are no, not this one it should be previous what the hell okay yeah so it is compiling the code okay nice and if I okay now I'm on the publishing option and it should show me the writing and also yeah perfect yeah nice 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 so all i have to now uh, print those two values over there so since i have already uh, imported the the card component uh, I have to just pass the data to the card component itself. Uh, and it is okay, so I can just use the same concept. Uh, but instead of that uh, it will be this I mean this dot this dot uh, okay and node ID I think it might show some kind of an error Okay, ID is un undefined, makes sense. Let me try running this command and with this and with this and over here I will update the to this and I can just 
comment this out let's see we can read property fields hmm. something is fishy going on here I mean really fishy Uh, it is consoling the values properly uh, but it is not printing those values and it is not also showing any kind of an error which is weird let me check the card component again we are passing an object okay of course we are passing an object Uh, and then there should be an image uh, okay we are not passing uh, all the appropriate data we are passing date uh, id title path what about tags image and all the stuff yes now this stuff is missing okay uh, we need the path yes so we need all this data uh, from here and move it over here we might leave this part for now and let's see if it works Okay, that's where it's still not working. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, like this. Now at least we might get some kind of an error in the con in the console. Okay, node property is wait what no I mean there is no uh, nothing over here so if we just run this let me check because I'm passing an array
Okay, I'm searching for the for loop. Okay, here is condition and loop. And I am searching. Okay, so here it is. So it is. Okay, so it is an empty array where we are pushing the data, and inside that data, there is a JSON object. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, perfect, perfect. So let's make this two. <coughs> S and over here S and none mm, like this in come on now, now this should work Cannot be property push. Okay, okay, yeah. So I have changed this to uh, with the S. And it says uh, avoid using non primitive. Okay, duplicate key injection. Okay, so I think it is uh, able to understand few things. Now if I just add uh, this, okay, so it is it is working perfectly. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, this is what we need. So it does output that. Perfect, perfect. Now it is showing on define at line 35. Okay, this yeah, so we now we don't even need to console all the values since it's already working. And now the other part is left to show the this is already working. I mean I mean perfect. Uh, now there's nothing to change over here. Uh, now we have to work on this part since it, it took already two and a half I mean two hours to work on this Not in really two hours you can say I mean um, One hour about four five minutes or something um, So I think uh, that uh, part I will continue in the next live stream Yeah and okay so it was really fun doing this live stream in the starting there was few things i was debugging about this music player and also my system is still lagging so i'll just try to configure before i will do the next live stream so that there is no issues um, and also it just let me know like if there are any problem in the live stream in the in the in this chat uh, and uh, don't forget to join my discord channel uh, you can just uh, uh, type the command exclamation mark with the discord uh, so it will give you the invite URL and yeah so I will see you next time thank you for watching bye bye